Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to beat the Nameless Puppet in Liza P. So this is pretty much the easiest cheese strategy to beat this boss on the current patch. And what we're going to be doing is going to the Malum District and stocking up on throwable items as they can do an intense amount of damage to this boss. Now for the first phase he does attack a little bit slower so it's easier to dodge out of his attacks. You don't have to play super defensively but during the second phase things get really difficult. But really for the very first phase we're just going to get as much damage in as we can from a distance as his attack attacks are a bit shorter in his reach so you can also swing your sword at it but it's just as easy to throw throwable items now once the bar gets white you should throw a shot put ball at it as it's going to break his posture i didn't do that in this video i was trying to pull off the two the dragon sword katana attack there to get the critical attack it just feels a bit more satisfying but i would recommend saving your shot puts only for those times as they do a good amount of posture damage but it's best to break it with that from a distance as you can get that cheap shot in as well as heal if you need to be mindful of your health obviously that's a big thing but during the second phase especially because he can do two quick attacks and bring your health down to nothing if you're not at full so always be topped up and watch out for some of these attacks like that one where he swipes at you it's best to actually dodge roll towards him for that attack and honestly, a lot of these attacks, it does pay to dodge roll towards him. I beat him another time, and that was kind of the strategy, was playing more aggressively into him. But I recommend the perfect parry grindstone. That is going to help us with blocking attacks like that without having to time it perfectly, since these attacks come out really quickly. And as you can see there, I was able to perfect parry two of them without perfect parrying them. So that allows you to get a couple quick hits in. And it's almost not a good thing to keep too much of a distance from him because he can close the distance really quickly. It's almost better to stay in somewhat of a mid-range where you can hit him with throwables, but also block and roll out of the way if you need to. As you can see there, I was able to do a perfect block again just by using the grindstone. So save two of your uses for it. If you don't have it, get the P organ that has it because you will definitely want to use it during this fight. It's the last fight in the game, so it's fine to respec if you need to, and you can go to the gold coin tree to be able to do that. I would recommend it for this fight as it's sometimes a bit more beneficial to have more throwable items from that P organ as well as be able to pull off two of those grindstone uses which is very beneficial during the second phase of the fight especially so saving the electric throwables for the second phase as well as the acid i think is a good strategy as well as they do more damage to the nameless puppet so i'd recommend keeping those for this phase of the fight as it's better to have that additional damage ticking his health bar down because the health will regenerate on bosses if you don't have that so very important to have that for that second phase it'll be a game changer and it's just kind of a battle of attrition here make sure you keep your health popped up block if you need to dodge if you need to and throw your throwables as much as you can and you'll take down the nameless puppet in liza p thank you so much for watching if you found this video useful please hit the subscribe button below